Hello YouTube, uh, Skedabeep here, and I'm here to show you how to hack a Windows Vista administrator account. And uh, also your sub accounts. All you need is your disk for your operating system. Uh, in this case I've got Windows Vista. What you need to do is insert the disk. insert it in your computer and then restart the computer <clears throat> just wait for it to load up Alright, what you're going to have to do when it comes into this black screen thing it's going to say boot from CD, DVD, press any key to boot from CD, DVD, press enter and it's going to do this load files from the Vista disk It's just going to load up here. This takes quite a long time. Right, on Windows Vista, I'm not sure if it's just the disk or the computer or anything, but my screen shows up like this for a long time. So uh, I'm just going to skip this part until it's... Uh, comes up with something. Right then, it'll come up with this screen after a while. It's uh, just your language to set up. I'm going to select English because obviously I'm English. And don't click install now. Go down to repair your computer. Okay, just wait for that to load up. Okay, the computer has stopped loading, and uh, this is basically what it'll look like. Just click next, and then go down to system restore. And just let that load up for a bit. Right then, behind this window here, you'll see that this pops up. Okay. Uh, restore system files and settings, yada yada yada, click next. Right, uh, this is the important part. You need to remember when you changed your password. So let's say like you changed it two days ago. You need to know today's date, which I obviously don't. <laughs> but it seems like it's the 2nd of 27, 2009, blah blah blah. Uh, so you need to go two days back so let's see uh, if you click show restore points older than five days just in case uh, you changed it ages ago if you scroll down and click the oldest one you'll have a good chance of resetting your password so if you double click on that and then click next and then next again alright uh, so then what this will do is it will reset your computer to back when you uh, set it so that will reset everything but not your files that's a good thing about this then click finish and then click yes but I'm not going to do that because I've already hacked my computer so uh, 
Yeah, and then after you've done that, restart the computer and you'll be able to hack it. Happy hacking!